friends, today we are going to be working on replacing this light switch. As you can see, we already have the nice white faceplate, but we are going to be replacing the actual switch to the updated version. For this project, you will need a Phillips head screwdriver and a flathead screwdriver. You'll also want to grab a couple different types of pliers to work with, and then you'll need your light switch and your replacement faceplate. And then a drill is totally optional. When you go to the store to pick out your new light switch, there's going to be a variety of options available. Some are more complicated and some are more simple, but you'll want to make sure that you're picking out a light switch that has as many screws as you have wires you need to connect. One important thing to note is that this green screw is always going to connect to your ground wire, which will be the copper wire if you have one. Anytime you're dealing with an electrical project, the first step you always want to do is ensure that your power is off. The first step is find your breaker box and then turn all the power off because it's no fun getting shocked. The first thing we need to do is remove the faceplate. And you'll do this by using a screwdriver to remove the two screws that connect the faceplate to the light switch. If there is some excess paint on your light switch, it's a good idea to take a blade and try and get that paint off. Otherwise, whenever you remove the light switch, you could possibly take some of the paint off your wall with it, which is not what we want to do. Now that that's taken care of, we are going to use a drill to remove the two screws that are connecting the light switch to the junction box. And once those two screws are removed, you'll be able to pull the light switch away from the wall. Now we need to make sure that our replacement switch has the same functionality as our current switch. We have three wires. We have our red hot lead wire and then two black wires. So we need to make sure that we have three screw heads to attach these wires to on the new switch. As I mentioned earlier, your green screw is always going to be for your ground wire. And the ground wire is always a copper wire, which in our case, we do not have. Our ground wire is already installed inside the junction box, so we will not have to worry about it. Now we need to remove the wires. So start by loosening all of the screws on the light switch that the wires are connected to. First, we're going to use our pliers to try and wiggle the wires out on their own without having to cut them. One of these wires we were not able to pull out, so we're going to just use the pliers to snip it off. Since we had to snip this one, we'll have to cut a little bit of the rubber off of the end in order to expose some of the actual wire. You'll want to twist your pliers around the rubber coating to make a cut in it, but make sure you don't twist too hard because you don't want to cut the actual wire. After that, you can grab the rubber with the end of your pliers and then just pull it off. Now we're going to make loops in our wires and you want the loop to be going the same way that you would turn your screw to tighten it, which is clockwise. So for the two wires that will be on the right side, you'll want to grab the wire with your pliers and pull up and over so that it will follow the movement you're turning with your screwdriver. And for the wire you're attaching to the left side of the light switch, you'll want to twist down and under with your pliers to make that loop. Now that our wires are ready to go, we're first going to attach the red hot lead wire to that dark screw on the top. And once your wire is wrapped around the screw, you can give it a tight squeeze with your pliers to make sure that it's snug. And then you can finish it off by tightening the screw with your screwdriver. When attaching the wires to the new switch, it is very important to make sure you connect the red and black wires to the exact same location as the old switch. A good trick is to take a couple pictures on your phone of the old wires from the old switch so you can refer to them later if you need to. Now that our three wires are attached to the screws, you'll want to push them back into the junction box and make sure that your light switch is facing straight up and down. Now you'll want to use your screwdriver to tighten the two screws on the top and the bottom of the light switch into the two holes on the top and the bottom of the junction box. Make sure that your faceplate is going to line up evenly with the light switch. And then if everything lines up properly, you can completely tighten those screws that are attaching the light switch to the junction box. 
As you can see here, our light switch is sitting a little bit too far back behind the faceplate, and that's okay because all we have to do is remove the faceplate and then loosen those screws a little bit. Now we can put the final screws into place, and you'll want to make sure that these screws are snug, but don't tighten them way too tight, otherwise you could risk cracking your faceplate. And now you can go to your fuse box and flip that power back on. So now the final test is, after you turn your electricity back on, is flip your switch to see if it works. And voila, it worked. Thank you for joining this session of Doing Your Job.